I'm Mary Zahn, Professor of Psychology and Director of Civic Engagement here at BCC. And I just wanted to have you um, pause for a minute because we're going to have a few words. Um, first of all, the president of the college, Dr. John Sprague, is going to welcome you and say a few words. So if you'd please all just be quiet for a few minutes, I'll appreciate it. Well, hello, everybody. Good morning, and uh, welcome to BCC. I want to thank you for your, uh, uh, your presence, and thank you for uh, putting yourself out uh, to help our students and to help yourselves with the wonderful volunteerism that happens here at BCC. The engagement, uh, student engagement, is a very important priority for us at BCC. We think it fits in with the holistic education of students at BCC, what I call the BCC experience. So. Uh, uh, I thank you. We wouldn't have the opportunities without you. Uh, we feel that, uh, that this kind of uh, work in student engagement is something that is beneficial to the students, uh, to uh, clients or people that the students deal with, and, uh, and to your organizations. Um, it's always been my experience and my personal experience, as well as everyone I've ever talked to, that said when they volunteer, uh, and people like yourselves volunteer, uh, the rewards are much richer for yourself than what you, uh, what you give, as valuable as that is. So I want to thank you on behalf of the college. Anything we can do to uh, make your life easier uh, in your volunteerism and uh, engagement activities, please let us know. I want to thank uh, Dr. Mary Zahm uh, for her stellar leadership uh, for many years now in uh, civic engagement and service learning, we used to call it, and uh, all. Uh, all of these activities. It just wouldn't have happened at Bristol without her uh, great leadership. And now it's my honor to introduce to you uh, someone from our uh, uh, academic affairs uh, office, uh, Associate Vice President Michael Vieira. Michael Vieira. Thank you. I'm always happy to, uh, to be at this event because I really think it's, uh, it serves several purposes. But one thing, it lets us thank you, all of those folks at the tables here, for all of the good work that you do for our community. So the first thing I want to do is, is let's give yourselves and everybody else, give them a nice round of applause for all the work you do. Thank you. And I always take every opportunity to thank Mary because she does an amazing job. So we're going to give Mary Zahm a nice round of applause also, please. Thanks, Mary. Um, Sarah Garrett, who's our Chief Academic Officer and Vice President for Academic Affairs, is uh, not here today. She is, she's actually off campus for, uh, for most of the week. So I'm, I'm happy to bring her greetings to you, and I also know that she greatly appreciates the work that you do for our community. Uh, I, I was thinking about service a lot over the last couple of days um, in light of 9-11 and in, in light of the media coverage of uh, the service activities that have gone on, not just in our region, but, it, but across the country. As you know, the President asked that uh, September 11th be also a day of service. And I was uh, fortunate enough to, to make a, a brief appearance to stop by and grab a bag of trash at the, uh, the farm on, uh, on Sunday. And I was really impressed by the work that students from UMass Dartmouth and BCC and other folks from the community did at a, at a garden in Dartmouth where they actually went into the fields and, and harvested um, squash and pumpkins. And it was, uh, it was a really nice Sunday afternoon ride. I remember being a kid and going to my grandparents when you know, there were three channels on TV and you'd take the Sunday afternoon ride for ice cream. That was like the big event um, before cell phones and, and cable TV and everything else. And it kind of had that same feeling for me, a beautiful Sunday afternoon, take the ride out there, and, and then just to see the wonderful work that's happening in the community. Um, I thought back a little bit on the, on the ride home about my own college experience, and service was really not part of what we did, to be honest. We did some things um, and in some other organizations and scouting, you know, do a good turn daily, some of those things. But it, there was a sense of community in terms of service, where you lived in neighborhoods and you worked with, with um, the people who you lived around, and if 
you know, the widow across the street, you know, you knew was kind of short that month, you know, my grandmother would make soup and you bring it over to, to help that person out and everybody kind of shared resources. And those days have kind of drifted, I think, over the past few decades. And I'm really um, proud of our BCC students and staff by, for helping to bring back that sense of service and that sense of community. But not only bringing back the sense of service, tying it to learning, that service hyphen learning. The president likes to talk about that little hyphen there. How do we make that connection? How do we take what's in the classroom and bring it into the community and what's in the community and bring it back into the classroom and really show um, how we can work together, how we can be together? Um, when I was faculty, I was one of the first persons who, who tried the service learning concept. And I remember the student who, who did the project, it was a project for the Diabetes Association, he did a web page. And he worked so hard on that, but I think part of the reason was it wasn't just for the grade, it was for a group. So it brought a whole new sense of um, importance and urgency and, and responsibility to, to the project. And I did that for, for the other classes um, during my teaching career, try to make that connection because I think it's got to be more than about a grade. It's got to be more than about checking off a box on gen ed. It's got to be about not just learning, but about bettering yourself and about becoming part of the community and making that connection. So if we can bring that kind of spirit of service and learning together, that sense of community, um, I think we're going to be in really good shape. And I've got to say that based on all of the great work that I've seen around this campus and other campuses, I have a real sense of optimism for the future. And I really think that in spite of the economic troubles, in spite of the problems that we have, in spite of all the horrible news you hear day after day after day after day, we're going to be OK. And we're going to be OK because we are helping to educate students to be servants to be service learning component people, to, to work with the community, and to help bring us to that new generation. So thank you for what you do. Thank our students for what you do, and the faculty especially for, for being that uh, catalyst to bring together um, service and learning in our communities. So thank you. Thank you, Mike. I might mention Michael is also the administrator for the program, so he's kind of the boss of this program and I'm very happy to be able to work with him. And right now I'd like to invite a few of the community partners to say a few words for our Facebook page um, about what they do and what they need from our students. And in a few, uh, about an hour, another student is going to be coming, but if somebody really, really wants to say something, you can come and line up here right now. Uh, first one, that I've invited to speak is the Family Service Association in Fall River. Hello, my name is Ramona Turcott, and I do represent Family Service Association. And my program is the Big Friends, Little Friends, which is mentoring. And I do want to thank you for having us. And I've been doing this over 10 years, 21 years in mentoring. And um, BCC students have always come through for us, and I wanted to let you know that Family Services has over 16 programs, from the elderly all the way to a three-year-old, and we have internships, volunteer, and also job postings. And I just want to thank everyone for coming here, and um, please stop by the booth, and I'll tell you anything you want to know. I only have a minute, so I'm shortening it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now I'd like to have a representative from the Bold Coalition explain. We usually have a lot of students who volunteer there. They have a lot of different programs. Thanks, Mary. Um, my name is Craig, Craig Gaspard. I uh, am the director at Bold. Uh, Bold stands for Building Our Lives Drug Free. And uh, that's a very, very important concept now. Uh, we believe that prevention, and there are lots of opportunities for prevention uh, of substance abuse issues, the younger, the younger we reach kids, the younger age kids that we reach, uh, mainly uh, through our school programs, but also through our, um, 
our offices where we uh, provide a lot of literature, a lot of handouts, a lot of information for parents and for young people. So Bold is over at STAR. Everybody know where STAR is, Stanley Street Treatment and Resources? Over on the other side of Durfee and the Water Tower. So we have long uh, benefited uh, from our relationship with uh, Mary Zahn and uh, BCC. We've been here for, um, we're in our seventh year, but Bold uh, very much looks forward to working with BCC students uh, in any kind of internship arrangement. Um, so there are lots and lots of opportunities. Um, uh, Annie, Alice, if you could just raise your hand, that's where we are. So we have a sign-up list over there. We provide lots of information, and uh, we look forward to uh, working with BCC students anytime, anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. The new director of Bold. And uh, the next, I'd like to have Citizens for Citizens, a special branch of them is the heater repair program in Fall River. And uh, would you please... Hello, my name is Joe Sylvia. I'm with Citizens for Citizens, the Heater Repair Program. And Citizens for Citizens is a community, community action organization, private nonprofit, and we offer assistance programs to low income households, assistance programs such as child care, health care, energy conservation, advocacy, and referral. And where we are now, we're seeking a student to do administrative support non-computer for an energy conservation program. Now the, the energy conservation I work for is the heater repair program and we provide heating services, heater repair replacement service to the low income households. CFC personnel determine the eligibility of the family. We visit the job site, we do the data management, all the reporting, and any student who volunteers with us will be doing non-computer administrative support. They will do intake, taking applications for our people who are seeking services, handling phone communications, uh, doing phone communications with recipients of the program and with heating vendors. And also plenty of filing and documentation for each program. So we'll, we've had two students work with us in the past doing administrative support. It was a very successful experience and we look forward to having another student working with us again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I know the administrative assistant program often places people in a lot of the organizations very successfully. We appreciate everybody's support in placing and supervising our students. And next I would like to have a representative of our sister school in New Bedford who will talk about their program. Hello. <laughs> My name is Hillary Parker and I'm the volunteer coordinator at our sister school. We are a middle school for girls from the greater New Bedford area and, okay, thanks. Um, I'm also very tall. <laughs> um, we rely heavily upon volunteerism to help our students. Um, our classroom teachers are AmeriCorps volunteers. We have volunteers that help as music mentors, evening study tutors. We have volunteers in our library. We also have volunteers that help us in the office with administrative support. So um, it's great to be here to reach out to the community and see if we can find some people interested in volunteering. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we need to put it down. Uh, the next person is the supervisor of a BCC organized after school program that was started by some students four or five years ago. And she will tell you about it right now. Cindy? Uh, welcome everyone, especially the new volunteers that we're hoping will sign up with us today. Um, I'm an instructor here at BCC and I work with the student teachers as well as co-op and ESL. And one of the programs that we have here that students have really enjoyed is an after-school program working once a week for an hour at Tansy School, which is very close to this campus. And you can work with children uh, grades one to five in an area that you love. Uh, last semester we had someone said, you know, I love music. So he brought in his guitars and some little drums and taught the children how to play a few uh, songs and they had a wonderful time. We've had a student who had a 
a love of history, worked with the fourth and fifth graders and taught uh, U.S. history for an hour a week. So doing that once a week I think is, is uh, enjoyment for you and especially the children. They look forward to our students coming and working with them and um, just the benefit of that little smile you see at the end of the, the hour everybody returns. So we've got students that have already have their civic engagement credits and come back year after year because they enjoy working with the children at Tansy. So I hope to see a lot of you there one hour a week and you can work on something that you really enjoy. So hope to see you there. Thanks. I really appreciate Cindy because I used to have to run that program myself so she's one of my best friends. And uh, the last speaker is another BCC instructor who is very active with a couple of clubs here that are service clubs. And I'd like to have her say a few words about what she does and what she needs. Thank you. My name is Megan Abella Bowen, and I'm the advisor to the Rotorat Club. And the Rotorat Club is a community service organization here at the community college. And we are under the umbrella of Rotary International. And our goal is service above self. And we're constantly looking for new students or new um, any students who want to get involved in community service. The club is the service is directed by the students. The students play the role in whatever their interest is. They're the ones that help us determine where we want to go with it and how we do that. But we do focus on service in the community and service international and we also focus on leadership. So it's a great opportunity for students to learn about our community, get involved in our community, and also gain leadership opportunities. If you're interested, our first meeting is going to be tomorrow at 2 o'clock in Building B. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. And her students have won national awards. And I think in one case, they even uh, came in higher than MIT. So we were very proud of that, needless to say. Uh, that concludes the speaking part of our program. I want to thank you for your attention. I want to really thank you for coming here today and for offering our students a chance to serve in the community. Thank you very much.